Carl, we're in a very beautiful spot as you can see. We're in Hawaii at Big Island for the Qualcomm Snapdragon Tech Summit Conference. We're testing out the 8CX Gen 3 platform that just came out and a Snapdragon knows I'm a huge car guy so you've got a pretty sweet ride behind me. We're going to tour around the island testing this out obviously fast car, fast performance. You kind of get the entire comparison. This car actually has a front. I'm going to quickly open this up. We're gonna pop this bad boy in. As we have no rear seats, we're gonna get in and drive and um, we'll see you soon. And I feel like Hawaii also has so many little ecosystems packed into a small island where our hotel is. It's a bit of a desert with volcanic rock. We're driving through lush vegetation, through rainforest areas, palm trees, beaches. I think there's even a mountain range or on top of the volcano, that's where uh, they have the observatory and it's actually snowing. So um, yeah, a ton of different lighting situations, but a lot of fun testing out uh, yeah, this laptop in different areas to kind of see what it can do. And this is actually the world's first five nanometer PC platform. And just keep in mind, this is a reference design device when it's implemented into a full OEM device like the Samsung Galaxy Book Go, which I took a look at the 8CX Gen 2 platform. It will take full advantage of the hardware, the thinness of the laptop, but there's no better way to test out the power of this than Hawaii with all the beautiful scenery. We'll throw a ton of video and photo editing and um, yeah, we'll get to it. All right, so the first spot that we landed in is a black sand beach not too far from us. I'd probably recommend looking more at the scenery and enjoying some beach time, but we are doing a tad bit of work here. So like I mentioned, this is the world's first five nanometer PC platform. And with that, you'll get a ton of additional games and performance. GPU intensive tasks like photo and video editing, obviously we're here in Hawaii, so we've taken a ton of photo and drone shots, all edited on here. That performance upgrade is also applicable to gaming, not that I've tried to set up a remote gaming location on the beach, but you can get all the way up to 120 frames, of course gaming at full HD. And Snapdragon has worked with game publishers to optimize your Windows gaming experience so you can get up to 50% longer gaming sessions on your 8CX Gen 3 platform in comparison to others. Some other great demos we've seen out here to showcase the performance, Shaper 3D, very fluid CAD-like design program. Everything was instantaneous, even using the touchscreen. And even with all of the content that we've edited on this journey, and sadly, some of the work that we've done here on the beach, you can still expect a multi-day battery experience. And it still really shows you can kind of be productive from anywhere. The next thing to talk about is connectivity and obviously super important as we kind of go to different spots of the island with this device. Of course the connectivity here has sometimes been spotty but this new platform can still connect to 5G, of course 4G LTE spots. Just having a device that's always connected has been super clutch for me. I mentioned this in my 8CX Gen 2 review when I go to my architect meetings. I know I just dropped a video kind of revealing our next house build. We don't always have proper connection and just being able to bounce ideas off of each other, kind of making switches or changes on the fly has been handy. Out here in Hawaii, I've sent a couple emails on the beach. Sadly, I probably should focus more on enjoying the beautiful scenery, but you do have that option. And of course now with Wi-Fi 6, that's dependent if you've got a Wi-Fi 6 router. This system allows for the fastest Wi-Fi speeds currently available up to 3.6 gigabits per second. So no matter where you're connected to, if you are streaming, if you're gaming, if you're on a video conference call, you'll enjoy a lag-free or stutter-free experience. All right, we just had a nice drive back to the hotel. That's where a lot of the demos are taking place. And this is probably the nicest set location that uh, I've ever filmed in. Ocean right this way, palm trees, hotel, bliss. <laughs> but anyways, as I mentioned, this is where the AI and camera slash video demos were taking place. AI is such a huge component of not only a laptop, but pretty much all tech in general these days. And I saw a couple of cool demos of the AI face detection and that front camera on laptops is super important as we rely on it so much for video conferencing. Of course, unlocking our computer now. The new AI face detection model could help identify who's in frame, prioritize that person. I actually had a funny moment with Judner as we were kind of side by side and kind of swapping to see who the camera would focus on. I'm using auto frame technology to track multiple users and just ensure they're always in view. And secondly, for the visual AI noise suppression for those conference calls or for those virtual calls, it's almost impossible to have the perfect set location where it's always quiet behind you. Your dog is always barking, baby screaming behind you, people clapping in the background. 
and you can really see how well the AI voice isolation is. During my voiceover, people were clapping, screaming in the background. We pretty much attracted the entire room's attention, and you can probably see, or I guess hear for yourself, which one has the AI isolation versus the one that doesn't. All right, we are out here in Hawaii at uh, Big Island for the Snapdragon Tech Summit Conference, and uh, we'll see how this can isolate uh, background noise. Hopefully you can hear my voice and not what's going on behind me. Yeah. All right, we are out here in Hawaii at uh, Big Island for the Snapdragon Tech Summit Conference, and uh, we'll see how this can isolate uh, background noise. Hopefully you can hear my voice and not what's going on behind me. Like I mentioned for the camera and audio demos, cameras now start up 15% faster, so you can start your video conference calls that much quicker. The camera experience has the latest generation 3A with autofocus, auto white balance, and auto exposure, so team calls or zoom calls will adapt to your movement and lighting changes to give you a better and higher quality video experience. And obviously right now in this situation, we've got direct sunlight kind of beaming down at me, so if I were to start up a video call, that camera would help with this overexposure right now on my face. And yeah, those are some of the key main features coming to the 8CX Gen 3 platform from Snapdragon. Of course, we've got security features built in as well. It's designed to give you peace of mind around the security of your data. It's architected to deliver security from chip to cloud. And whether you're a regular consumer in education or business, it has built-in security features with all of that in mind. So I know at the end of this, we were supposed to go back and drive out but I honestly think um, we have found the perfect spot to kind of watch sunset. So we're gonna kick back, relax, and uh, enjoy this beautiful view. Big shout out to Snapdragon for hosting events like this again. It's just so nice to see people in person. And of course, to do these vlog style reviews, which I've really missed. I've just been kind of stuck in my studio for the past two years. Expect to see their next gen platform built into OEM hardware devices at some point early next year. And uh, if you already haven't, just follow me over on social. I'll be releasing everything from Tech Summit and uh, we'll catch the rest of you in one of my next vids. Peace.